Hey guys, this is Mark and welcome back to our Infinite Flight Video Training Series. Today we're going to continue with Understanding METARs, Part 4, where we will be discussing the visibility. Visibility is crucial when flying and especially while flying VFR. But visibility is given in statute miles as well as fractions of statute miles. It is reported as the greatest distance that can be seen but not necessarily seen continuously. Now, as you can see in the METARs above, at Honolulu, visibility is 10 statute miles, which means that the visibility at the time of this reporting was 10 miles or 10 statute miles or greater. So let's look at some examples of visibility on how it's coded. Of course, 10 SM or 10 statute miles is a minimum of 10 miles or greater. You might see PSSM or Papa 6 Sierra Mike, which is basically saying that visibility is more than six statute miles, which would be anywhere from six miles up to 10 miles. Next, you have five SM or five statute miles. Then you might see it in the fractions where two and one quarter statute miles or half statute miles. You may even just see a quarter mile visibility or a quarter of statute mile visibility. Now another part of visibility is RVR or runway visual range. This is the group that will follow the visibility code which provides the distance a pilot may see down the runway. This is issued when the prevailing visibility is one statute mile or less and or the RVR for the designated runway is 6,000 feet or less. So an example that you may see while reading METARs for RVR is runway 08 left has a visual range of 2,600 feet where the code would read R08L slash 2,600 feet. Now RVR values are coded in increments of 100 feet up to 1,000 feet, 200 feet from 1,000 feet to 3,000 feet, and from 3,000 feet to 6,000 feet, RVR will be in increments of 500 feet. I hope this has provided some clarity on understanding the visibility section of the METARs. Next, in part five, I will be going over the sky conditions, uh, and there are several codes that you'll need to know and understand, so I will go over that in the next video, which will be part five. Make sure that you subscribe here on YouTube for more great tutorials. Also check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, as well as on our Instagram page. Again, guys, this is Mark. I appreciate you watching.